Hello everyone, my name is Chateau Jaune and I'm here to talk to you about the new Castle Story update 1.1 which came out the 14th of December. We call this the quality of life update because our focus was to make the game easier to play. The biggest and most obvious change is the new UI. There's a lot of things to cover so let's go from the top to the bottom. Under the minimap you can now find a list of the resources that your Brickshons have stockpiled. It's incredibly useful for knowing the state of your economy at a glance. It's also really useful for knowing when you're out of empty stockpiles for your Brickshons to work with. So creating new tasks and placing down blueprints is now easier than it's ever been. You want to place a block? Just click on the block button, and both the stone and the wooden blocks are there available in the same panel. Same thing with structures. You want to place down a structure? Just click on the structures button. And the list of tasks that you're familiar with is still available. You just click on the tasks button. We rework the task bar to make it significantly easier to read and find all of the options you need. When a task bar is selected, all of its options are going to appear in a new panel right above the task. It allows you to, for example, uh, in harvest tasks, change which resource type is gathered by the task, or change the priority of the task, or confirm or even delete the task. In a quarry task, you'll be able to rotate the stairs from there, and in a tunnel task, you'll be able to decide whether your tunnel goes up, down, or straight. We improve the icons in the taskbar to make it easier to understand what each task is about, and the priority of each task is now displayed with those three little squares at the top right. One of the nicest features of the taskbar is that now, when you select a workstation, it appears on the taskbar with an options panel that displays what that station can craft. If you want your forge to produce three cogs, for example, just click on the forge and then click on the cog button three times. You can also remove items from a queue by clicking on them and you can loop a queue to produce it until you run out of resources. Your military units are now displayed at the bottom right of your screen, making it really easy to quickly gauge the size of your army. Also, you can select all of your ranged or all of your melee units just by clicking on the respective panel. Your energy progress until you can spawn the next Bricktron is now displayed at the bottom left with a convenient little button to spawn a Bricktron once you actually can. At the bottom right of your screen there is now a call to arms button which will tell all of your workers to stop what they're doing and grab the nearest weapon and a new feature, back to work, which will tell all of your military units to put their weapons away and get back to work. There are now seven different types of stairs, including half stairs, spiral stairs, and stair corners, which will allow you to build pretty much any style you want for your castle. We also added two new Merlon variants to complete the set, the concave Merlon and the double Merlon. We tweaked the balance on all the military units to make them behave more like their intended role, and we made some balance changes to the conquest game mode and some of the corruption units as well. Check out the change logs for more information. We moved the tutorial over to the right side panel to make it less obtrusive, and we adjusted its content for the new update and to make it a little more complete. Castle Story now has a public translation system, which means you're going to be able to translate the game, put your translations on the workshop, or even go to the workshop and download translations that another player made so you can play Castle Story in the language of your choice. If you want to learn how to translate Castle Story, there's a video tutorial that I'm going to link in the description and at the end of this video. We did some work on performance and people with lower end machines should see an improvement in FPS. Castle Story now has team trading cards, backgrounds, and emojis, which you can unlock by playing the game. If you want more information on how that works, check out the Steam link in the description of the video. And of course, as always, we did a ton of bug fixes and lots of other little changes and additions. I'll put a link to the entire change logs in the description below. Enjoy, and I hope you guys have a ton of fun with this update. Take care, and on behalf of the entire Surpod Studio team, I wish you very happy holidays.